Okay, g'day guys. This is a quick one. This is kind of in... Remember when I did power scraps all last year? That's kind of where this is going. I decided that I wanted to just decompress and just scrap. Just flick the camera on and just scrap. And sometimes I just have to do it like that because otherwise I find that I over process things a little bit too much. So what I'm doing with this particular layout is I've pulled the word fantastic from the Paige Evans number 14 splendid collection. So she numbers her specialty papers and it's number 14. That's where I got the title from. Now these photos are of my dear darling crazy child Angela. She was in the back seat of the car and she was being stupid. She was being delirious this day. It was so funny. And there was a, a packet of napkins in the background in the back seat of the car and she decided to stick them on her head so of course I had to take photos of it and she was laughing and we were all laughing it was quite funny so something I want to draw your attention to is there's two photos here but by printing them in two different sizes it just gives you much more of a focal point so it's a way of drawing your attention to the photos versus the background or whatever else you know it just helps it appear like you've got a lot more photos that you know sometimes we take photos at an event or something and then we'll go oh I only took two photos and that's all you've got so work with what you've got zoom some in print some a little bit closer and go from there now this is this stamp was actually gifted to me by the wonderful who was it Nancy, um, and it's so it's from overseas guys. It's from I I don't know. I think it was doesn't actually say on it where it was from. It's an American craft stamp. It's called uh, Hip Stamp Hooray, and it's called Noted Noted Stamp Set. So thank you very much for that. That was awesome. And I love those stamps. I love, I love stamps that they've got a bit of journaling, but they've got a bit of a, you know, like a watermark or something like that on them. It's pretty cool. So this particular layout, now I don't think I've ever used these in a video. These are, okay, mine's a cheap version. I got from, I think I got it from Amazon, but this is the, Simon Hurley foam. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but he has a he has a foam. Simon Hurley is the one that I've seen it with. This is just a generic brand though. Now what you do is you use your heat tool, your heat gun, and you heat it up and you press it into whatever you want to make a stamp out of. So it can be a stamp so that you get the reverse of the stamp. So um, it could be like what I've done here. Um, what I did with this, I've got a brick stencil, but sometimes I don't actually want the stencil negative. I want the positive. So I did it and you can reuse this stamp over and over and over again. You, all you do is just run the heat gun over it and it brings it back to flat again and you go again. And so that's where I got my bricks from. Now, all I'm doing, I have pulled out a plethora of mixed media products. Like, I mean, legit, I'm just having fun doing this. Bit of the packaging technique, which everyone's seen done before. Some people can do it really well. I, I have mixed, mixed results. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this is one of those layouts, you know how I always say to you, or if you're new to my channel, you don't know that I always say this. If you're new, don't forget to like, subscribe before you leave because we are having an awesome giveaway for my 1500 subscribers. We are getting there. We're like 1300 and something. I don't even know where we're at now, but we're getting there. And once we get to 1500, I'm having a cash giveaway. So, um, now what what am i doing okay so i'm still what i'm doing is i wanted to do a stack of mixed media in different colors different shades 
and just to help create the focal point. I'm sometimes I do layouts and I like using colored papers in the background and sometimes I just want to not be bound by the papers. I want to just get in and just create something that is unique to myself. Now the reason I attached all my photos together at the beginning is so I can just move it around in one big piece. Totally works. Now these are my rubber stamps that I got from, I got them through Crazy Craft Obsession and they're darkroom door stamps and they're called mini marks and you can see I, I left it in shot for you a bit there. Um, it literally has all these different marks. You can see them all there and they're small so you can just create lots of different texture on your paper. So you can use, they're, they're brilliant. I, I, I've wanted some really good mark making stamps for a while and so I spent the money and invested and I am going to use these to within an inch of their lives. So as you can see, it's slowly building up. Now this is the part where I say to you, and this is where I say all the time, just keep going. Just take one more step. Give it one more little bit, just a bit more. And that's the difference. Some people, I've had a couple of people very recently make comments to me saying, how do you get your pages to look like that? Be game, be bold, and just take one more step. At the end of the day, it's ink and paper. I, yes, I'm using my, uh, the paper that I'm doing this on is um, the Vicky Booten's Foundations paper. I have not put any gesso on it or anything like that. I'm just doing it straight down on there. So it bites into the paper straight away. I like that when I'm using inks you know, like the distress oxides or whatever. I like for it to bite straight away because usually where I put my blob, that's where I want the color to be. I don't want to accidentally reach across it or move it and it rolls. That has a time and a place. Like if you put the gesso down and you do that, that's great. But sometimes that's not what I want. And this particular time, that's not what I wanted. So... I've just pulled down my little non-slip tray that I made for myself for my inks and I'm reusing this piece of tape. Now this is the mint tape from scrapbook.com that has been gifted to me by a couple of people which I absolutely love this stuff. It is so good. And what I do is when I finish with it, as you can see, I used it for uh, black. I think it was black soot. I actually just stick that on the edge of my cupboard and next time I want to do another edge like this, I take that same piece. And this tape is so sticky. Well, it's not, no, I can't even explain it. It's not that it's super sticky. It's that it's able to be reused over and over. And it doesn't seem to lose its tack. It's fantastic. So for any of my overseas people that can get scrapbook.com supplies quite cheaply you know because you're not paying for postage to Australia <laughs> unfortunately postage to Australia is a bit of a killer um so but yeah I mean it's it's fantastic so as you can see this fantastic so as you can see that layout is coming together I'm getting quite the result with it now, I tried to go around with my silver, my silver Posca paint pen. It's having a moment. It doesn't want to play the game. So I pulled out my Uniball Signo Broad. It's a, it's, it, this one is just called Uniball Signo Pen. And I just go around these letters just to add a little bit of metallic touch. I didn't want to go too shiny and metallic on this one. But yeah, so it's, it's pretty good. I love that one. Now, I don't know if I've said it in this video because I'm doing a couple of voiceovers in a row. So uh, forgive me if I'm repeating myself. If you are new to my channel and you have not been here before, please like and subscribe before you leave. 
leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from. I absolutely love hearing where everyone's from and what's going on in other parts of the world because it's quite often, you know, you, you do it in your country too. You probably don't hear much about what's going on in Australia, but I love hearing about what's going on overseas. I mean, at the moment, there's some serious snowstorms going on. That's pretty crazy. But for us who are sweltering hot today. Um, but yeah, I we're having a giveaway. So Create With Karen, we are giving away, um, we're having a cash giveaway this time. So it can be for all of my subscribers. So what I, I will be having a giveaway where you have to do a few things to be in the running for it and it'll be over a couple of weeks and it will be for my 1500 subscribers so it's absolutely fantastic so if you are up for some more scrappy supplies but you don't really have the money this is an easy way for you to be in the running to get it so um what else am i doing here i so once we hit 1500 subscribers, I will release all the information for the giveaway. So we had one at 800 subscribers and it was fantastic. It was awesome. I absolutely loved it. And the feeling of giving back to you guys was amazing. And that was the reason for me monetizing my channel too. So you guys have allowed me to monetize the channel. So I'm giving back to you guys. So now I'm just raising all of my photos up on some foam. I finally reached a piece, for those who have been here before, I finally reached a piece in my foam pack that actually has sticky on it. So I didn't have to glue and tape and tape and glue everything down. So this is where I am adding my foam to my title. I really like this background, guys. Like, I don't say that much about my own stuff, but I really like it. It's grungy, it's blue, it's funny, it's... I love it. I really, really like how this one turned out. I really did. Do. So the glue that I use as well is Art Glitter Glue. You can get that from Crazy Craft Obsession online. There is a link in my description. If you're an Aussie or a Kiwi, they post to Australia and New Zealand. And Cast and Jacques are a small little Aussie business. And they are, they've just had their little baby Oliver, who is just so cute. And yeah, so they are fantastic. Super punctual with sending things out. And we are also doing a, um, I'm also doing a, class group if that's something that you're interested in if you want to you can purchase exactly what i'll be using in the class videos that i do and the videos are free and all you have to do is purchase the supplies there is a full list of supplies over on my facebook group if you jump up in the description here you will find the link to my facebook group and you can find the full list of everything that i will be using for I'm planning on getting maybe four layouts out of, you will get a lot more than four layouts out of it, but um, I'm going to specifically do four, four layouts for the class. So there you go. So check that out if you're interested. And here's the close-ups for you guys. Check out that grunge in the background. I absolutely love it. You can see a little bit of the brick, but see how nothing is overpowering the next bit. And you've got a bit of grunge. You've got the um, liquid pearls there in the Bahama Bay and the deep water, which are beautiful. You've got the mark stamps. You've got, I've used the VersaFine black ink because that, once it dries, it's waterproof. And yeah, I will have a full list of everything I used in the description below. So you can sit and sift through it if there's anything in there that you think you might like to have and or get your hands on thank you so much for watching guys i genuinely appreciate each and every one of you and i will be back tomorrow with another video thanks so much for watching thanks <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys chat to you soon bye for now